it was always vibrating, but this time it was vibrating more than ever. It was like really hardcore energy. And um, and John of Guy was, was a heavy set guy. Um, maybe he was a little bit taller than me, but he was heavier. And uh, there were two big men on each side of him holding him, just sitting next to him and hold, putting their hands on him um, just so he can channel the energy of this being that was apparently King Solomon. And the entire casa was really shaking. Everything was shaking. We were all shaking. It was very, very powerful energy. Was that King Solomon? I don't know. I don't have a radar or angel reader that can identify the, I don't have a color ID that can say, okay, this is this angel or that angel. But did it feel like a very powerful presence? Yes it felt like really a mighty presence. It was huge. It was very strong, very, very strong. It never happened again. That was just one time. One time that I, I experienced that, in that intensity of energy. Well, you know, it may, it may have happened before, or, you know, I was only there for a certain period of time, so. Did John of God change his face or the way his meaner when he was possessed by entities and beings? Yeah. It, to me, it wasn't an act. It was very clear. Something has taken over him. Some being has come through and is doing the work. That, I, I believe, because I could feel the whole vibration of him and the way he was behaving and he was walking around and doing things would change drastically. And um, all of a sudden he would do like things like being able to stick a surgery scissors in somebody's nostril and jam it inside or cutting through people's bodies um, with a knife. So something really powerful was there in doing the work. Because after he would do a physical surgery, a few days after, you would see the person in the casa and they weren't injured. So something very powerful was doing the work. So we have a message here from Susanna about could you also give some thoughts about parallel worlds. Um, <clears throat> I believe that anything that we think about or feel as a possibility, they, they do exist. And uh, I feel par parallel worlds exist. Why would infinite limit itself to one thing and just have one kind of a reality that we perceive it as our reality? So that brings me to the conclusion that the parallel worlds do exist simultaneously. In fact, I have seen that um, in deep meditation, a deep inner journey. That was a long time ago. That all these different aspects of myself simultaneously existed. And, um, and it was constantly changing from one thing to another. It was like, millions of millions of millions of different Zarathustra. 
but also billions of other people and other possibilities of different uh, yeah, different possibilities of different decisions, different direction that uh, things would go. Like one version of you got married, one version of you never got married, one version of you got in a car accident, one version of you lived till age 200, uh, one whatever. I, that's something that I saw in my vision, in my journey. Is it my everyday reality? No. Do I experience it all the time? Uh, no, I don't. But I saw that, that it does it does exist and it makes sense because it's infinite the source is infinite and it's multiply multiplies itself from every single direction it keeps going and going and going as it experiences itself in billions of different beings throughout all this time. Yeah, I mean, who's there to say that simultaneously at this moment, we're having this planet Earth with this reality we're in, and then simultaneously there's all these other realities existing and if you change your vibration, you're raising your vibrations to a higher frequency, then the reality changes and you find yourself into another reality, very, very similar to this one. However, it's different. -ish. Or you, if you somehow lower your vibrations, then you find yourself in realities that we call hell. So, And we all experience that. That's my take. So. Very good. On that note, I'd like to uh, have a couple announcements and next Wednesday, I won't be able to do the academy. Um, maybe we can switch uh, the academy to Thursday instead of Wednesday. So, um, but I won't be able to do it uh, next Wednesday. So uh, let's power out, send me some messages. Maybe we just, uh, have our academy on Thursday instead of Wednesday. Uh, this broadcast is going to be, uh, it's already recorded, so we're going to have it on Facebook. It's simultaneously. And then um, <clears throat> a copy of it is going to be sent to you via email. Those of you who are connected, then you are on our system through Zoom. So we're gonna be sending, sending you a copy of this broadcast. Um, we stopped doing the podcast because unfortunately I don't have my microphones. And um, so the sound quality has been very bad. And when we've been recording, so we sort of stopped doing the podcast. And hopefully after uh, Amir comes to Mexico and we set up the studio, and we got all the all the um, equipments, recording equipments. We'll be able to do the podcast again. You also can connect with me uh, via email. My email is info at zaratustra.tv. 
My website is zaratustra.tv. Uh, I don't, uh, as well as the um, podcast, YouTube channel, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. They're all Zaratustra, actually 5D. So if you want to find me on any of these channels, you use Zaratustra 5D, or if you want to go on my uh, web, uh, website, it's Zaratustra.tv. Um, I don't have any public events scheduled yet. Uh, the only thing that I offer at this point is if uh, is the life training program. And if you're interested in a private uh, coaching training program, which is designed to take care of your needs, you're welcome to contact me, write me an email, email and then uh, I'll set up a consultation session with you. We'll go through it and find out about your needs and uh, what is it you're trying to achieve. And uh, we go on from there. It's a three month program. It's 12 sessions. We get together one and a half hour once a week. And then I will be coaching you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Um, we're gonna make an announcement. Most probably we have the next Academy on Thursday. Uh, sending you a lot of love and light and look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste, God bless.